I have here a project with a number of HSQC spectra in it. One is of a free protein and the others are a titration as some ligand is gradually added. The chemical shifts have been deposited in the BMRB, so I'm going to show you now how you can easily import those and then transfer the assignments to these spectra. Find your NMR star file and then simply drag it into your project. Tick simulate peak, peak list and enter n, h in both these boxes in order to create an nh peak list. There's more information about how to import BMRB files and some of the known issues with this in our BMRB import tutorial. Now the program has created a dummy spectrum which has got our new peak list in it. So I'm simply going to take this and drag it into the spectrum display module and now I can copy this. You can see the peaks on the whole overlay pretty well with the spectrum but they're just slightly off the center of the peaks. So we just want to make sure that those are correctly centered on the peaks. I'm going to select all the peaks using command or control A and then I'm just going to deselect by holding down control or command those peaks which are in the crowded areas and which are overlapped. And then once I've done that I can simply type SE for snap to extremum and you can now see that all the peaks move nicely to the centre of the nearby peak. Occasionally that might not quite work, you can see here one case where that hasn't happened and we just need to manually drag the peak with the middle mouse button near the centre and then type SE again and now it's nicely centred. The same here. Now if I want to add these assignments to my spectrum with the ligand, obviously the peaks will have moved a lot. So if I were now to drag in this peak list, I will have to move an awful lot of these peaks manually using the middle mouse button. That is one way of doing it and for some people that might work well, but personally I find that quite fiddly. So I'm going to undo these steps again and use a little macro to transfer the assignments instead. I'm going to do a peak picking just normally on the spectrum. And then I'm going to find a macrum on our forum. So here under version 3 macros there is this copy assignments macro. And so I'm just going to copy that, control C, go to macro, new, and then paste it in. And now, if I select two peaks in the two spectra and run the macro, then the assignment is copied from one to the other. Now, rather than each time having to run it from within this macro editor, I can also associate this with a shortcut. So I'm just going to quickly save this. And then I will go to the shortcuts. I'm going to go to Q3, select my copy assignments macro, and save and close. And now when I select these two peaks and I type Q3, the assignments will be copied. And in this way, I can easily go through my spectrum and copy the assignments from one to another. Finally, there is one more way in which you could transfer your assignments. When the chemical shifts were imported from the BMRB, there was also an NMR chain that was created. And what you could do is 
to go through your spectra and I can see here, let's change the way the peak labels are displayed, that's perhaps a bit easier. Here I can see this should be residue 71, so in the search box I can just type 71 and then drag that NMR residue onto here. That one should be 51, type it in and drag it over. This one is 87 and I continue, can continue in the same way. So there are several ways in which you can transfer your assignments. Sometimes one method will be more useful than another. This final method might work quite well if you have um, a printout of the assignment rather than having the data electronically. But really it's up to you as to what you prefer.